so hi guys welcome to placements ready in this video we will be solving the problem possible words from phone digits and it's a medium problem okay so let's see what is the problem so given a keypad okay it is shown in the diagram and a n digit number which is rep represented by array we have to list all the words which are possible by pressing this numbers okay so basically we have given the keypad right and for each of the numericals we have some uh, possible characters that is for example 2 abc is possible for 3 d f is possible and so on right so we have to form all the words which are possible by selecting at least each character from this numeric keys right so let me explain you so but before that if you haven't subscribed our channel please subscribe so this is a medium problem and this is a very famous problem from recursion and many students find problem in this uh, question because like it's somewhat uh, i would not say it's somewhat difficult to understand but i will make you clear what is the problem and how to approach these kinds of problem right so let's understand so given a is 2, 3 and 4, right? So here, uh, we have to find all the possible words, right? So for example, if you take uh, 2, so possible digits are A, B, C, right? Similarly, for 3, the possible digits are D, E, F and for 4, the possible characters are G, H, I, right? So that is fine. Now we have to pick each character at a time from these and we have to combine them and form a word. For example, we can pick A, then we can pick D from here and then we pick G from here, right? So here we get the output as A, D, G, right? Similarly, we can pick A, D and H, right? So we can get A, D, H and similarly A, D, I, right? So if you see carefully out of these three, we have to pick each character one character so this can be done in 3c1 ways similarly this can be done in 3c1 ways and this can be done in 3c1 ways right so basically we will have 27 possible outputs and that is written so how to approach these kinds of problem right so here you can see we have to take the uh, character from the word to for this you what you can do you can uh, create a mapping of keypad right for example 2 will be mapped to abc then 3 will be mapped to def and so on right now uh, let me write 4 also in order to explain you so 4 will be mapped to ghi right now what we need to do here see we have to pick each character at a time right so we can pick a now right so at the beginning our output will be a empty string right now we can pick a character a and we can move our iterator initially the iterator will be at zero right now we can move our iterator to first position now in this what is stored def right so we can pick again one character d and similarly we can call the recursion right for g so in this type of problems where you have to find all the possible combinations right recursion is generally used right so here we can pick g right similarly we pick a here and we pick d here right we can pick h again now similarly this can be extended extended as adi right so for a keeping d we have three possible options right Similarly, with A, we can have E, right? And similarly, G, A, E, H, and A, E, I. So, this can be done, right? And once you get all the characters, like after this is over, what will happen? The recursion will go on to the next. But as soon as it reaches the next position, I will be equal to N, right? So, I will be initially 0, 1, 2, and 3. And when i reaches n, what we can do? We can have a answer vector and we can push our answer, which is current answer is output. We can put this into our answer vector. Now we will do what? 
once adg is pushed into our answer vector we will backtrack and the recursion will now be containing the output will be containing ad now we will again call the recursion and now h will be attached similarly we backtrack and we can add i so i hope that is making sense we will understand it more clearly when we see the code okay so till now if you have any doubt you can write it in the comment okay and i will be happy to solve it and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe the channel and please do like this video right so let's see the coding implementation so initially i told that you have to map each of the characters right so zero will be containing a null one will be again containing a null because in the figure you can see one is containing a null right it is not containing anything similarly the index two will be containing a b c d e f g h i right so the function was given as vector string possible words right so what i have done i have created a vector v which will be storing the answers now i have called the recursion for generate function we i have passed the array the starting i will be zero okay and n is the size of the array and the output will be empty string and v will be the answer right and finally once the recursion is over we can return v so let's see what we have done here right so it is the base case and now first of all we will pick the first digit right so digit will store uh, like for example if 2 3 4 is given so it will store 2 now we will iterate on the uh, abc for 2 right so we will keep iterating till it is not equal to null okay or keypad of digit dot length is not equal to the length of abc right now we can generate right we can generate it we can have the current character added to our output which was initially empty right and we can call the recursion on i plus one so the current character is attached to our output string and now we will call for further recursion right and now since this recursion when this recursion in this recursion when i will be at n we will push back that output into our answer vector and we will simply return okay when we will return then it will be containing for example adg is getting into the output vector as we discussed now adh will be getting into the output vector right so that is it uh, let's discuss the time and space complexity for this for example so you can see here like uh, for the character 9 we have four possible digits right so if you see carefully here w x y z so if we have to make a digit of length n let's say so each of the n uh, spaces can be filled with the digits right let's say we have nine so it can be filled in four ways similarly this can be filled in four ways and this can be filled in four ways so it will be four power n and the we need to iterate on the string as well so it will be multiplying with n so this the time complexity will be order of four power n into n and the space complexity will be simply order of n right so i hope i was able to make you understand the possible word from four phone digits question and if you have liked this video please subscribe to our channel and do share among your friends and we will meet again in the next video thanks for watching